everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today we are going to be working with this kit from my Etsy shop. It is the 3D Mushroom Insert, and if you visit our Etsy shop, you'll see that we have a whole bunch of these 3D uh, dimensional inserts for your journal, and how they look when you're finished is something kind of like this. See, when you open it up, it'll give a kind of dimensionality to your journal. And, um, this matches our uh, Wild Mushrooms Journal Kit, which is where these pages and this little guy came from. Um, but today we're going to just be working on this dimensional insert. Um, the only difference is that today, instead of making just an insert, we're going to make it its own little journal. And in order to do that, I've got these printable um, lined mushroom pages. And these are a freebie that's available in our Facebook group. I'll put a link down below for that. And then um, the kit also comes with these little um, fun little guys, fun guy, <laughs> get it, fun guy, sorry. <laughs> and these are just some little decorative fussy cuts that you can use to decorate your um, dimensional insert. So we're gonna be using some of those today and we're just going to have a little bit of fun and see what we can come up with. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to need to cut out all of our pieces and fold them in half. And a good little trick I found if you don't have a cutting machine, like, you know, a Cricut or something, is to, um, when you print your pages, I printed this on regular printer paper, print them out, and then I um, just use some tape to kind of stick them all together, and then I cut them all out at the same time. So I line them up as much as I could, and I just, you know, I cut these all out just kind of together like this. So anyway, you can give it a try if you want. Um, you can get a little bit off doing that. I noticed I got some white edges on some of these, but for the most part, it worked pretty good. So then once they're all cut out, you can just fold them in half and make sure they're lined up really well because if you get off a little bit, it can really make, make it kind of sloppy. I already feel like I'm off just a little bit here, but um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that with all of these, fold them in half, and then we'll come back and we'll put them together. And now that we've got these all folded in half, we're gonna go ahead and just glue them together uh, like this, white side to white side. And what we're also gonna do is save one of the mushroom images and it's gonna become the cover. And you can pick whichever one you like best. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, it's pretty classic. And it's going to become kind of a cover on our journal. So I'm gonna set him aside. And then these guys, you can print as many as you want. Um, I just printed one page, so two of them. And they're gonna kind of get inserted in here as well and be kind of like a journaling space. So, um, I'm just gonna be using Fabri-Tac, I think, but you can choose whatever glue works best for you or tape or whatever. And lining these up can be a little tricky. And it's kind of a situation where close counts because nothing's ever going to be perfect no matter how well you do it. And that's kind of why I love junk journals is because they're kind of forgiving of mistakes. And you can see, you know, just a little bit of white is showing on the edge here. And we can either cut that off or we can cover it with some uh, Distress ink. ink. And we'll, uh, we'll do that after we're done putting the whole journal together. Sorry, I feel like I'm stuttering a lot. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so then we'll just continue to glue these together. Just like this. And how many of these do I have? I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these guys. And now we've got our little mushroom insert done. 
And if you want to, you can go back through and take the scissors and just like clean up anywhere that there's some really big white space showing, you know, if there's like a big piece that you wanna just sort of snip off, you can do that. Um, just be mindful that there's nothing on the other side. There shouldn't be, but. Um, and then if you don't feel like doing that and you wanna just kind of cover up those white spaces, you can go ahead and ink the edges and we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. edges inked. If you are using this as a insert, then what you'll need to do is just go open up to the journal page that you want to use it on and just glue it down in between the two pages. So you would apply glue here and here and then, you know, it would just become an insert and then you can decorate it with your little fussy cuts. But we're going to actually make it into its own little journal. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and make the front and back cover, and then we're gonna decorate it. So this guy here that we saved, we're gonna cut him in half, and we're going to use him as a cover. And then we'll probably need to ink again. And I would just wrap him around, but as you can see, he's too short because of the thickness of the journal. So we're gonna cut him in half. And um, he's gonna become kind of our front cover here and our back cover. And um, we're gonna need to cover up this kind of crooked little spine. So I'm gonna be using some craft paper for that, but you could use, you know, a piece of lace or whatever you want to make it, you know, your own. But what I'm going to do is just kind of measure it with my eyes here. And I'm gonna cut a piece out. Actually, I think I'll just use scissors. And then this is just gonna wrap around here and it's gonna be mostly hidden. So I wouldn't stress about it too much, but we don't want it poking out in the wrong places. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to take these corners and just kind of round them off like that. And I'm leaving like I'm a little half inch here just to cover the spine. And hopefully that'll keep it from sticking out. We'll see if I've got it completely off or not. There we go. So that mostly covers that spine up. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. And I'm just gonna double check that it's not sticking up too much. I think I need to slide it down a little. There we go. That looks pretty good. Hopefully that'll kind of do what we want it to. Okay. And then once you've got that little piece glued on your spine, 
you can take your front covers and glue them on, or your front and back cover, rather. And we'll do this one too. And I probably should have inked that. That's something to think about. You may want to ink this edge before you glue it down. I'm probably going to regret that I didn't do that, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep them the same. And then you might want to go ahead and just add some ink on either side of these covers. Hide those white spots. Okay. And now, this is kind of a fun part, we get to decorate our journal with these little fussy cut fun guys. Okay. And I've got some cheesecloth here. I'm going to use this for a little bit of texture on the cover. So our little journal is all finished, and I think it looks pretty cute. A fun little addition for a mushroom or forest themed journal. Okay, and now we can just go ahead and add it to our journal. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching.